Iceland is not just breathtakingly beautiful, it's also a powerhouse. The country harnesses the power of geothermal energy, generating clean electricity and heating for its residents. Who would have thought that amidst geysers and glaciers, juicy tomatoes could flourish? The exciting news is that geothermal energy is not exclusive to Iceland. It's a renewable source that can sustain the world for generations. In fact, every place on the planet has the potential to tap into geothermal energy. For example, in Italy, the first experimental geothermal generator was set up in 1904 by an Italian aristocrat named Prince Conti. The power it produced lit up five light bulbs. The start of a geothermal energy revolution? Not really. The world wars absorbed technological capabilities and prevented the idea from spreading. Also, it was an entirely new idea, and people were not sure exactly how to make money from this. Because, unlike oil, steam couldn't just be sold in barrels. As a sustainable alternative to fossil fuels, geothermal energy can benefit countries all over the world. Take Indonesia, for example. Yeah, it's an islands country. We call it archipelago because we consist of thousands of islands. Sitting on the ring of fire, it has the largest geothermal potential in the world. Which is seismically active until now. And it makes us having the biggest geothermal potential in the world. Despite its vast potential, geothermal energy is still largely unknown and underutilized. Firstly, let's see what geothermal energy is. The word geothermal comes from the Greek word geo, meaning earth, and thermal, meaning heat. Geothermal energy is a renewable source of heat that is generated within the earth, and the deeper you go, the hotter it gets. And this heat warms water that is seeped into underground reservoirs. You can drill to access it, or, at the tectonic plate boundaries, the water breaks through the earth's surface as steam or hot water all by itself. People can harness geothermal energy through geothermal power plants and geothermal heat pumps. In power plants, wells are drilled into the earth to pump steam or hot water to the surface where it's used to generate electricity. Around 3 to 4 percent of global energy demand by 2050 could be supplied from geothermal estimates say. However, today just around a quarter of the known potential around the world is being used. One reason is it's not attractive to investors in the short term because it takes years to develop. Another problem is geothermal exploration could trigger earthquakes. Not just the drilling itself, but removing the steam and returning the water can destabilize the underground. It's rare, but it can happen. And in Indonesia, there's also a resistance because many areas are sacred. Local people think it's really out of their minds if that holy place is being drilled to get geothermal energy. And since coal is still the top priority in Indonesia, it's hard to sell the idea of green geothermal energy. Local people who live close to the region of the geothermal energy resources don't talk about climate change because the issue of green energy is not really popular in Indonesia. Not only will it take time to promote the benefits of renewable energy, but the industry needs more time. The benefits of geothermal energy are undeniable and are not limited to the generation of clean renewable energy. Geothermal energy has been used for a variety of purposes in Iceland, including aquaculture and tourism, where visitors can bathe in the country's famous hot springs. In conclusion, Iceland's success with geothermal energy serves not only as a model for the world, but also as a challenge, an inspiration, and a proof of concept for the power of geothermal energy. Despite some technical problems, geothermal energy seems to have great potential, not only in Iceland, but around the world. Join the geothermal energy revolution and power your future with clean, renewable, and sustainable energy. We hope you like this video and that you subscribe for more amazing content. We'll see you next time.